Hi all. Let's talk about what is the purpose of unionol transformation in SSIS and how to use unionol transformation in SSIS. So unionol transformation works similar to the merge or merge join transformations in SSIS. But when you go to the merge or merge join, so it takes only similar or sorted inputs. But when you go to the unionol, so unionol does not require is sorted inputs and it takes multiple inputs and it gives you the single output and it does not support a error output again i am repeating union all does not support so error output and it gives you the normal output only it does not give you the sorted output like major major joint transformations and it simply appends the data one input uh, to another in the output. So it does not reorder the data what is coming into the output. So and it can take the multiple inputs. So it, inputs are not restricted for the unional transformation in SSIS. So now let me show you how to configure unional transformation in SQL Server data tools. So let me go there. So here. I have I am planning to take four sources and for time being I am taking the same source for all the four sources. I am planning to take the same table name. So I am planning to club the same table data. Let us say so source oh, one contains four rows means so I am planning to use the same source table for all the four sources. So rather than uh, preparing a data for other four sources. Let me configure source one by one. Let me double click on the validb source. Let's click on new. So select the adventure works and let's tell the table name. So I'm planning to take the same table and simple table name for my example. So production location table, the same table I'm planning to select for other sources as well. Production location. Yeah, so let me go for the third source. Production location, the table name where it is. Yes. So let me go to the fourth table. So there is a table name production location. Yes, but ideally in the real time we will select the different different sources data. But for uh, time being I am selecting the same table. So instead of selecting the same table you have to select the different data. Okay, so let's connect with the OLEDB source one to union all. Similarly you can uh, configure this. This you can connect and this you can connect. And when you coming to the union all transformation configuration, you don't need to do any configurations. Let's simply take the output of the union all and give it to the plot file destination. So let me configure plot file destination. So here I don't have any existing destination. Let me click on new. So I am planning to go with a default delimited file. Click on OK and browse the file. So where is the file? My file name is union all yeah, union all and the column names in the first row. And see this is the one click on OK and go to mappings and click on OK. Now before going to run let me show you what is the data in the source one. So let me click on preview. So I have around so many rows I have around some uh, 15 to 16 rows with her of location ID name cost rate and all click on OK. The same data will be coming here as well because the same table is configured for all the sources. So this is a kind of example only. So if you have a different sources data, you can simply select those sources rather than selecting the same table. So once the configuration and development is done, let's run this. So now you can see here from the source one, it is coming around uh, uh, 14 rows. Source to 14 rows, same data table, right? That's the reason why I'm getting same 14 rows. But when you go to the output of the union all, it multiplied by that many sources, 56 rows. Now the configuration is done and uh, run also completed. Now let's go to the output output and see the data. So it is there in the okay. Let me go to it. Yeah, so this is a union all. So now you can see here location ID one, two, three, four, and all. After 60, it has been started again. One, two, three means the output rows are not sorted in any order. So it simply appends the data, one input, another. So that is about a so union all. In the next video, we'll talk about what are all the differences between union all and other transformations in SSIS. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like our videos. Thank you.